deep navel. You know, we've seen all your movies, Mr. Tripleson, and last night was... Double the pleasure, double the fun. Call me Jack, ladies. You earned it. Now Amp's great. It's time for my primal scream therapy. I thought they'd never leave. Take that horrible thing off. What? You don't dig my groovy banana hammock? Fine. Ah, my aching head. Sleep it off, Jack. I hate that guy. His voice grates on my nerves. So, the Nexos, who sent them and why? I have been pondering that ever since we fled Paradiso. There must be another fuel on DNA gatherer here on Earth. If this moron thinks he can steal my scene, he's smoking the drapes. But picking this guy out of four billion monkeys would be like finding a virgin showgirl in Paradiso. It's not like he's gonna be advertising on TV. Sunnywood, California. Land of surf, sand, and endless sun. But in this refuge for dreamers and the weak-minded, there are those who would take advantage. Among them, the Lunarian Church of Alientology and its reclusive leader, Dr. C. Kurt Calvin. Dr. Calvin! Dr. Calvin! Have aliens really visited Earth? Absolutely. And soon they'll return in their chariots of light to lift the faithful up to the heavens and life everlasting. Thousands of Lunarians already believe. I spend 30 years zapping up one at a time, and this freak hands out a few shrooms, plays a little synthesizer, and they line up to get their brains sucked out. It lands so devious that only a furon could have thought of it. Well played, sir. Yeah, well, it's time we played him. And I know just the Foxy News paid to help us. How do I draw the reporter out? Who's gonna notice one more alien in this town? I have just the thing. An ancient Furon weapon so strange to earthly eyes that only a reporter on the supernatural would bother to investigate. Okay, okay, you got me all hot now. Enough foreplay, Pox, what is it? It's a spore launcher for a particularly voracious species of carnivorous flora from the once lush planet Venus before we turned it into a self-perpetuating inferno. I call it the Venus Human Trap. Sometimes the old ways are best. Bizarre reports of a giant man-eating plant in downtown Sunnywood will definitely get the attention of this reporter. Sounds like fun. Hey, Pox, remember that time you thought it'd be a good idea to cross clone me with a female Furon? Yes, yes, I remember. Hmm, <laughs> we should do that again.
it, her body-snatching pod from a galaxy far, far away. Deep breaths. It's all in your imagination. Hey, I was kidnapping her. Apparently, the Lunarians intend to muzzle me. Get her back! Find that back! Not a feathered hair out of place. <sighs> How you doing there, dollface? Listen, I'm looking for Kurt Calvin. How do I find him? Am I on candid camera? I knew this wasn't going to work. Crypto, you fool! You'll ruin everything! Relax, Pox. The lady's a professional. Let's start over. My name's Crypto. I'm a good guy alien from outer space. I'm here to catch a bad guy alien who's wearing Kurt Calvin the same way I just did this poor schmo. You saved my life. I got a weakness for blondes. Also, brunettes and redheads. For our voodoo's sake! Crypto, can't I leave you alone for ah, one minute? crap. Listen, get me to Calvin and I'll get you the scoop of a lifetime. No, but I know someone who can. Someone on the inside. A climber. He calls himself Deep Naval. A master of the path of space can use psychokinesis against enemies or objects many times his own size. Who are you talking to? Are you daydreaming again? I think so. But I feel like my psychokinetic power has just grown stronger.
Flexibility. I was watching that stabbing blue cartoon the other day and I got to thinking. 